Hi party people, just a very quick video. I've got my Christmas candles out and I've realized, because it's winter, it's Christmas in July, I'm in my work from home loungewear. <laughs> so, and I've realized what not to do with candle care, which is what I did last year when I was starting out with candles and what to do to get it right and get the full 95 hours out of your candle. So you can see my two favorites, plastic Christmas tree and a Christmas tree candle, makes it smell like a real one, without the spiders that came with our last real Christmas tree, and Christmas berries. Oh, it smells like Ribena and mulled wine on a warm winter's night in front of the fire. And I'll tell you now, Christmas spice. I really hope they release this in August so that I can share it with you all at our VIP events in September for Canberra and hopefully if I'm allowed to travel the October long weekend in Blaney slash Orange that sort of area. So this one smells like eggnog and I just want to put one of those funny winter jumper things on and sit in front of a candle because I don't have a roaring fire and smell oh cinnamon and spice and eggnog and de vanilla and deliciousness. But the trick is to dip and snip. If you don't dip, you get smoke all around this. If you blow your candles out, you're gonna get smoke. So the idea is you use your little dipper and you dunk the wick down into the wax. That puts it out without smoking. It coats the cotton wick with a coating of wax, which protects it. So the next time you light it, it doesn't smoke the first time you light it. And then you lift it up again, and then you snip it with your Larev snipper to five millimeters. So you take those horrible knobbly bits off the end that cause all the smoking. And you always make sure you burn or have your candle alight long enough for the whole top to get melted so that it goes all the way down. Don't do what I did with this candle. One of the wicks went out, so I got a tunnel where the other wick was. So then I blew that one out, hence the smoke. Tried to light this one to even them up. I didn't get the whole melted effect all the way across. And so now I'm not gonna get 20, 95 hours out of it. And um, yeah, it still smells great because it's 100% soy and it's loaded with fragrance. So when I take the lid off, I can still smell it, but I'm not gonna get 95 hours out of that one because I didn't take care of it. So I have two candle care kits. Now these have just gone on um, stop sell because we're prioritizing those things which sell. And if you are a candle lover, you need one of these to get your 95 hours out of your candle. So the first two people who message me today and order the Home Fragrance Starter Set, which is two candles, any candles, and a set of reeds to make the house smell great. Now this is my coconut and vanilla. Now that's one month. You can go to the supermarket and pay $15 for one month's worth of smelly reeds. Actually, I think that's more like two months now. Or you can choose one of these, which has no alcohol in it. So it has slow evaporation. And of course, beautiful scented oils. You can use less, less reeds to make it last longer and make the smell a little bit softer. Or you can be like me and have the more is more effect, because I have this in my front hallway and I want the whole entrance to smell like coconut and vanilla. So, two candles, set of reeds as your home fragrance extender or your home fragrance starter. The first two people to order those today and I'm gonna post one of these direct to you as a thank you. So, happy candles, everybody. And if you'd like to find out, Anything more about our candles, if you'd like to actually smell them and understand why I love cranberry crumble in winter and Hawaiian frangipani and coconut lime in summer or mint mojito or pina colada. Sounds like a pool party with cocktails, doesn't it? Then um, 
Message me also for a free sampling session and I can give you a free candle. So talk to you all soon. Bye.